Greetings, deeply loved, beautiful, and wanted children of God. Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Maureen. I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emanuel Lutheran Church in Washington, Iowa, and I greet you with great joy. For we come together to read the wonderful stories in the Bible that remind us, tell us, show us how much we are wanted how much we are precious and treasured, and how much we are worthy of God's forever love. And we know that because the stories in the Bible tell us that, and especially because of Jesus. God sends Jesus to us to love us, to show us how much we are to love others, to show what forgiveness looks like, and to show us how to care for each other as God cares for us. So, we are reading the Spark Story Bible, and it is published by Augsburg Fortress, and we are in the Old Testament, or the Hebrew Bible, stories that tell us about God's love for God's people before Jesus is born. And the story today is called Elijah and the Widow. So, are you ready for this story? Terrific. Let's begin. Elijah and the Widow. Elijah was a prophet. God helped him show and tell others about God. One day, God said, Pack your things, Elijah. It's time to move to a new town. I have told a widow there to feed you. I will make a miracle. It was not a good time to move. Rain had not fallen for many days. The sun was hot and the earth was dry. Elijah didn't have any friends in the new town, but he listened to God and he went to the new town. When Elijah finally got to the town, he was thirsty. Just then he spotted a woman. Could this be the woman, the widow God told him about? Excuse me, ma'am, could you please bring me a drink of water? The kind woman hurried to get the water. <laughs> Elijah's tummy growled. He remembered that God said the widow would feed him. He called after her, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Could you bring me a nibble of bread to eat? The woman stopped in her tracks. She turned to face Elijah. <clears throat> and here is a picture. And you can see Elijah. He's sitting right here and he's thirsty from his... I don't know why my phone keeps stopping. So again, here's Elijah and he's seated after his long journey. And here's the widow. And a widow means that her husband, she was married, but her husband has died. So she's all alone. Um, but you will find out that she has a son. Anyway, uh, uh, here she is, and she's going to fetch water in this jug for Elijah because he's thirsty. But he also asks for something to eat. Can you find Squiggles? Yeah, there's Squiggles. He's right on top of the, of the roof. And look at Squiggles' eyes. He's surprised. He wants to listen to what the woman has to say to Elijah when he asks for something to eat. The widow had sad eyes. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have any bread. <sighs> she sighed. The last of my oil and flour will only make a biscuit. My son and I are going to split it as our last meal. We have no other food. She started. <laughs> she started to cry. <laughs> Dry your tears, 
Elijah said. God will make a miracle for you. Bake the bread and share it with me. God promises that your flour and oil will not run out. The widow mixed and kneaded and baked a loaf after loaf after loaf of bread. Her jar of honey, her jug of oil, made plenty of food for Elijah, herself, and her son. God's promise was kept. It was a miracle. And so here's the picture of Elijah and the widow and her son, and they're all eating bread, delicious loaves of bread. And look how happy they are. And do you see squiggles? Can you find squiggles on the page? Let me see. I'll get a closer up. Do you see squiggles now? Sure you do. She, he's right next to the pot of flour that's not going to run out as God promised. Yes, God promised this miracle to Elijah. And it happened. Whatever God says comes true. God keeps his promises to you and to me. Yes, God does. And we know the greatest promise that God gives us is that God loves us forever, forever and ever. And God forgives us when we don't do as we say and we turn our backs on God. God's promise is to forgive us. And God's promise is to keep us as his children forever. Those are wonderful promises that God keeps to you and to me. That God looks at us and says, Elijah, Harry, Deanne, Doris, Misty, Chris, Craig, Sarah, Ken, Clara, Stephen and Ryan, Rachel and Mariah, God looks at you and says, I love you. And the proof that Jesus, uh, that God loves us is that Jesus came and Jesus dies on the cross and rises from the dead because God loves us so much that death can't even stop God's love. And Jesus is that proof. Yay for us. Yay for God. And so let's on the count of three say, Jesus loves me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus does. Yes, Jesus does love you. But Jesus also loves the entire world all the people in the world. And so let's say Jesus loves our neighbors too. You ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves our neighbors too. So Kathy and Steve and Tug and Navy and Olive and Joseph and Karen and Eileen, God says to you, you are precious in my sight and I love you. So children of God, you are wanted, you are loved, and you are precious to God. But you know, there are people who are still hungry today and God uses you and me to feed them. Maybe you can set some food out for HACAP here in Washington and deliver some food to HACAP on Lexington Boulevard where they feed the hungry. And, or you can drop your food off here at Emanuel Lutheran and we will make sure that that food gets to HACAP where the hungry are fed. Have a grateful day and know that God loves you and is using you to love his world. I'll see you tomorrow 
at 10 a.m. for story time with Pastor Maureen. But we also have worship tomorrow. Yes, we give thanks and praise to God tomorrow at 9 a.m. We live stream right here at Emmanuel's Facebook page. So come join us for worship as we give God thanks and praise for unconditionally and always loving us. So I'll see you tomorrow for worship at 9 a.m. and then 10 o'clock for another story time with me. Have a grateful day and I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.